What's up guys, the Penthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is 6 p.m. It is Wednesday. It is a new team of the team of the week day, not a new team of the season day. And as you can see on the screen right there, it is a new showdowns day for the Champions League final. Rodrigo and Fabinho are the two. And before we look at them, it excites me how many squads there are. I have a feeling that they might be some beast players. We'll take a look at those guys last though. No icons for today. Uh, leagues most likely going to be uh, put in tomorrow. Swaps Foundation and Team of the Season. Do we have anything new here? La Liga 81 by 7 upgrade is back again for another repeat. Or, oh, actually, that wasn't there yesterday, was it? That was a the content they were supposed to put in yesterday but didn't. La Liga 84 plus player pick is there as well. We will do those in today's video. La Liga Team of the Season Challenge 4 for a draft token pack that also wasn't put in yesterday. And a La Liga Team of the Season Challenge 5 for a rare Mega Pack. Wow. 75 rated, 6 rares. A very nice EA. That's like a free rare Mega Pack for everyone. And then on top of that, we've got the La Liga Team of the Season upgrade. Very nice indeed. 87 rated with one Team of the Season and 45 chemistry. It's not too bad. Let's go to uh, Team of the Seasons from the Premier League. Who have we got that I... Don't care about Jota. There we go. And then an 87 rated squad uh, outside of that. Now he's a uh, relatively high rated. We don't need too much chemistry. Let's do that. Let's get rid of that and go in here. Nope. How about in here? No. Nope. Wowza. How about in here? Okay, we've got some 85s in here. I might be struggling here, guys. I can't even lie. My fodder game is weak at the moment. All right, La Liga is going to come in clutch for us. All these 86, 87s and 88s uh, and an, an 89 and a 90 as well um, could be quite uh, quite useful. So, yeah, let's pop the 88 in over the 85. That's not enough. The 87 over the 85. That's not enough. The 86 over the 83. That is just about enough. And that is our La Liga team of the season player done. Let me know, guys, in the comment section down below who you got in your La Liga Tots pack. Now, let's also go ahead, guys, and have a look. Rodrigo, he's starting off 92 rated. He's got five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, 98 stamina. He's got the flair trait. He has got sensational dribbling. Passing is good. Shooting is good. Pace is great. Obviously, he has that capability to go up to a 94. It's three segments for him. An 85 rated with the team of the season. An 87 rated with the team of the season. And an 88 rated. That is very expensive. And then Fabinho. Now, the, the fact that he's four segments makes me think that EA think that Liverpool are going to win the Champions League. He's four star, four star. Six foot two. Medium high work rates. Very good pace. Good passing. Very good dribbling, very good defending, and very good physical. I mean, an anchor or a shadow on him, and you've got yourself a superb box-to-box uh, -box slash central defense in midfield. He's an 85 with a tots, an 86 with a tots, an 87 with a tots, and an 88 with a tots. That is, fair to say, extortionate. Now, obviously, Fabinho can go up to a 94, and should he do so, his card will be quite exemplary. Obviously, Rodrigo can go up to a 94, or as well should he do so his pace will hit 99 which is amazing his shooting passing dribbling gets that upgrade that takes him to that next level i think of the two i think even the base card i think rodrigo is probably just better the five star skill moves is, is just really nice and he's got good stats we'll have a look at it on the footbin uh momentarily iago aspas finally got released guys we looked at him uh on a clip yesterday looks like a good card to be fair he's about 130k uh, he's real decent, of course. No opportunity to get upgraded. Is there anything else here today? Marquee matchups, obviously, is no use. UCL Road to the Final, which was also released yesterday. What well, should have been yesterday and just wasn't in the content. Um, and then that's that for that. So let's uh, let's engage in this La Liga 81 by 7 pack. This needs an 84 rated squad with 45 chemistry. We will go to the Bundesliga for this because we've got a couple of 85s in here. Boom. And uh, with the 83s, 82s, maybe we'll go La Liga for a little one extra as well. 
and that is going to be let's just chuck in some 84s and some 85s and we should be good on that one it's not quite enough rated that's not quite enough rated that's not quite enough rated that is quite enough rated there we go so the uh the seven upgrade pack hopefully a team of the season pops out of that and then the 84 plus player pick which is an 83 rated i believe yeah with a team of the season or an informer so we'll also go to the league for this and uh let's have a look at the team of the seasons that we've got available to pop in here um have we got anyone trash yes we have fantastic and then because this is an 83 rated squad with a with a 90 rated thomas in here we should be absolutely fine with 83s 82s and probably 81s i'd be very very surprised if this wasn't sufficient they all unai simon let's grab a couple other 82s in there i mean if it's okay as well yeah it's, i mean we're just okay with this let's just get our chemistry on he can go down there he can go down there he can go over there and he can go in there happy days so one of three 84 plus player pick and again let me know down below or on twitter i'm nearly on a million followers on twitter guys if you wanted to follow oh that's awful if you wanted to follow me on twitter i'm, I'm less i think i'm about 20k or so away so if you're sitting there thinking man i'd love to Ooh. we still need to look at team of the week rivals reward changes with the domestic leagues wrapping up for the 2021-2022 season, Team of the Week 36 will be the last Team of the Week season and will have an impact on rivals' rewards. The elite player division player picks from the rest of t Season 6 will comprise of player items from Team of the Week 33 until 36. In addition, starting from Season 7, the elite division player pick reward pool will switch to Team of the Week slash Team of the Season, consisting of all Team of the Week and Team of the Season items rated 83 or higher that have been released as of the Season 7 start date. Superb. Superb. Big, 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 big fan of that. Let's have a look at what we've got in store today. Um, we want this first. Seven. Just show me blue. Start with blue. Boom. It's never blue, is it? Oh, it's bad. We just got blue sketch from the player pick as well. Who would have? Who would have thought? All right. And then after that, we have got La Liga Team of the Season player pack. Then we'll go and have a look at Team of the Week. Then we'll go and have a look at the showdowns. French centre back. Hey, Jules Kunde. It's not bad. It's not bad. I thought it was going to be Benzema. But it's not bad. What's he worth? Yeah, about 200 odd K. Cracking little player. Cracking stats. Absolutely cracking stats. Very nice player indeed. And yeah, do we dare? Do we dare have a look at the team of the team of the week? Is it going to be? Oh, there might be objectives as well, man. I forgot about objectives these days. Um. Okay, so there's an Olivier Giroud helped win the title for AC Milan. Delort, another Delort, amazing card, man. His team of the season. Oh, he's not getting a team of the season. His team of the season would have been amazing, especially if it was four star, four star. Ninety rated Di Maria. We've got Amrabat, Harrison, Gundogan, Hyung Min Son, and Robertson. Uh, Gabriel Paulista, Bastoni. Man, he was one of the first um, featured team of the weeks, Bastoni. Diego Lopez, Nubel, Cedric, Dem, Ruben Castro. Bye, Brandon, bye. I think, what do you get? Two assists on the weekend. Van Hart, Iseric, and Pritchard. I mean, it's, it's your, like, even even Hyung Min Son at this stage is a bit like, yeah, okay, cheers. Who, who really cares, you know? Um, let's have a look at the objectives. Silver Stars. Fabio Vieira. What's he got for stats? Two, hopefully not two star, three star. For a silver, he's all right. He's all right. I, me personally, I've kind of lost a little bit of interest in the uh, Silver Stars content recently. And then nothing else there otherwise. So let's go have a little look on footbin, guys. At these new players. At Fabinho, at Rodrigo, at Fabio Vieira. They're, they're the only ones we really care about. Fabio Vieira. Doesn't have his stats in there yet. Uh, Rodrigo, guys. Rodrigo. Five-star, four-star. Man, it's nice. I think... Uh, I think I would probably go with the Maestro. Super shooting. Maybe, maybe a marksman to get that physical up. Ten extra strength. Insane dribbling. Great shooting. Good passing. Depends if you prefer passing or physicals, really. Either a Maestro for the passing, a marksman for the physicals, or so be it if you love the pace, a Hawk perhaps as well. 
Um, they would be my choices. But what a card. And then Fabinho as well, guys. Coming in a four-star, four-star. Compared to his 89. Okay, they've got to fix that. His 89 rated has one less pace, three more shooting, three less passing, but actually seven more free kick accuracy and one more curve, one more jumping. In terms of dribbling, two extra reactions and composure, one extra ball control and dribbling, two extra long shots, seven extra finishing and two extra positioning. A 92 rated showdown card should not have stats similar to an 89 rated winter wild card card. And it does go to show a little bit just how overpowered the winter wild cards were. Because I think this, uh, does he have five star weak foot this one? No, four star, four star as well. But this was an insane card, especially offensively back in the day. And I understand this Fabinho has got way better defensive stats and has the opportunity to get upgraded. But either way, uh, an anchor or a shadow for me. Uh, if you're desperate for that pace, you go with a shadow. If you like the physicals again, you go with the anchor. I'd personally be going with the anchor. I think it's a brilliant card. I just think it's a bit too expensive. If I had to guess, I'd say Rodrigo is probably upvoted. Fabinho is probably downvoted. Um, okay, R R Rodrigo is upvoted massively and Fabinho is about 50-50. The La Liga Tots is downvoted massively. And Challenge 5, which is very good, is upvoted massively. And that is going to be the content for today, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.